All right, here's an example of uh, <coughs> some questions where uh, you've uh, done some work and come down to an answer right here, which when you divide on a calculator, give you a decimal answer. And that's perfectly uh, fine. Sometimes, though, they'll ask for an exact answer. And uh, any decimal answer is an approximation, which is OK. But if you want an exact answer, typically th that'll be a fraction, something over something. So how do I convert something that's already in decimal format uh, to a uh, fraction? So if I have 2.5 over 1.45, what I could do is get rid of the decimal by multiplying by a factor of 10 by however many you need. Like this, I'd need to multiply by 10 to get, pardon me, to get rid of uh, one decimal. Here, I'd have to multiply it by 100. But you can't multiply the top by something and the bottom by something else. So I'm going to multiply both the top and the bottom by 100 so I can get rid of that, uh, the decimal on the bottom. So on the bottom, I'll have 145, whereas on the top, I'll have 250. Now I've just got normal numbers. Now I could simplify it. So I can divide the top by, uh, say, 5, and divide the bottom by 5. Will that give me 50? And then this one will be uh, 2 and 9. And I don't think you can simplify any, any further. So that would be probably what I would say is my exact answer. Now, you could write it as a mixed number. Divide 29 into 50 goes once, and then there'd be 21 remaining out of, and you keep the same denominator. So you could write it like that, too, as a mixed number or as an improper fraction. Now, here's another example right here of one where um, you've got a fraction already, which looks pretty good. It's an exact number. You could divide it and come up with a decimal, and this would be an approximate. But I could try and simplify this. So uh, I'm looking for a number that will divide both into 42 and 28. I think 7 will go into both of those. So if I divide both the top and bottom by 7, I'll get negative 6 on the bottom and um, 4 on the bottom. Negative 6 on top, 4 on the bottom. Oh, but I can divide that by 2 again. Let's divide both top and bottom by 2. So I'd have negative 3 over 2. So negative 3 over 2, 1 half, both those good answers. Again, I could rewrite that as negative 1 and a half, and that'd be a mixed number. I sort of like the improper a bit better. But all three of those are correct answers to that question. Hopefully that helps you in converting a decimal to a fraction or uh, um an answer rather than just divide and come up with a decimal uh, where you can come up with a fraction for it.